the CK matrix suite, and this is class oriented matrix. In an object oriented design, the class is the fundamental unit of an object oriented system. Because when we make a class, then we'll make objects. A class is encapsulating or containing what? Data or attribute. And then we have function. The function are going to manipulate this data or work on this data. This can be operation, this can be function, this can be procedure. So a class will encapsulate these. There can be a parent class from where the subclasses can be inherited. So inheritance means taking the attributes and operation as it is. So there can be another class which can be a subclass of a superclass or the parent. And these class, these all collaborate with one another. So these characteristics, this can be used as the basis for measurement and matrix. So Chidambar and uh, Camera, they have proposed a CK, C is coming from Chidambar and K is com coming from Camera. They have proposed CK object oriented software matrix suite. So we'll see six class based design matrix for object oriented systems. We'll see one by one what they are saying. Because there are six uh, different in this suite. Weighted methods per class, WMC. Now what does it mean? Just assume that we have a class C and we have say N methods in this class. And this me N methods have complexity C1, C2 till Cn. So a class we have defined have certain functions and each of them have corresponding this complexity. Now this complexity can be any complexity. For example, you assume it to be cyclometric complexity. You know how to compute cyclometric complexity. Basis path testing, I told you, the independent path we find out. E minus N plus two and number of regions and the predicate nodes plus one. So cyclometric complexity, you can also use Hellstead's uh, complexity matrix. But you need to uh, normalize uh, so that the nominal complexity for a method takes on a value of 1.0. So you just have to add these complexities. Just add the complexity. This is the weighted methods per class. So the number of methods and their complexity, these are indicating, these are the indicators of the amount of effort required to implement and test a class. So this is a clear indicator, WMC, that how much effort you are going to put and how much effort in testing also. If you have large number of methods, more complex is the inheritance tree because all the subclasses are going to inherit the, inherit the method of their parents. This can happen. More method. If they are very application specific, software specific, work specific, we you may not be able to use or reuse it again. So limiting the potential reuse. Therefore, WMC should be kept as low as possible, as low as reasonable. In CK suite, we have depth of inheritance tree, DIT. So inheritance is a class properties are inherited by another class. For example, you have the attributes and function of class A, class B you have defined, class C you have defined and you have inherited the classes which are above it. So one is called parent, the other is called children, children like that. But the depth of inheritance tree is how far you are going to down the level. So this metric is the maximum length from node to the root of the tree. How many nodes you are covering? For example, one, two, three, four. Okay. Just compute, just compute the number of nodes. You have four nodes here. So this is the depth of inheritance. And since we have these uh, C1, for example, uh, C2, just take. 
the DIT of Kleist hierarchy in this figure, as I'm suggesting, it is four. And when this depth of inheritance increases and when it decreases, that directly represents the complexity of object-oriented design. As DIT will grow, the lower level classes are bound to inherit many methods from C, C2, C21. C211 will inherit. Okay. Now DIT I am showing because here you see the bottom is quite heavy. DIT2, the balance tree, if you see here. So we want the balance kind of tree. Because we want that the inheritance should be up to a limit, should be controllable. So the depth of inheritance tree DIT should not be higher than what we are expecting. So difficulty we will have in order to predict the behavior of the class which are in the lower depth in the inheritance tree. So a deep class hierarchy clearly you see it means that the design complexity of your design is quite higher. Large DIT values it implies many methods can be reused because the C method has been reused to C2, C2 has been reused to C21, C21 is reused to C211. The reuse can be a thing here. Next thing comes is number of children. Number of children is the subclasses immediately subordinate to a class. These are termed its children. And this is the number of children. For example, here you have this is a C2 class. Now it has subordinate, immediate subordinate classes as C21, C22 and C23. So how many uh, number of children it has? Three. As the number of children will grow, of course the reuse will increase. But as the number of children will increase, increase and if you have an abstract class, if a parent class is abstract class, the abstraction of say phenomena will be diluted. If some of the children are not appropriate members of the parent class. So these are the, we need a proper balance of this number of children. Because though reuse is increasing, but the appropriate is implementation should be there. As the number of children will increase, the amount of testing will also increase. Coupling between object classes. This is CBO. This is CK suite, one more metric. CBO. Coupling between object classes. Now, when you make a class, when we make the, or say the components, subcomponents on the modules, they are going to somewhat couple. So, the CRC model may be used to determine the coupling between object classes. And this can this you can take from CRC index card. So CBO is number of collaboration which are listed in the class as is in CRC index cards. So you see here, uh, this is the collaborators. These are the cl collaborating classes. So all this we can get it from CRC index card. As this CBO will increase, the reusability of class will decrease. High value of CBO will mean, means what? Because there is so many uh, collaborating uh, classes and coupling is there. So modification will be complicated and testing will be. The so CBO values for each class should be kept as low as possible, as low as reasonable. Either you take the conventional or any coupling has to be as low as possible. CBO is coupling between object classes. If you see here example also. I tried to show you how many CBOs this A, B, C, D have. Response for a class, RFC. Now RFC is what? First of all, let us understand. Methods that can potentially be executed in response to a message received by an object of that class. Now you are receiving a message and say M1 is an object of this class. Now the Invocation of R1 has happened. That is, RFC measures the immediate surrounding of a class. If some message is coming and some other, say, you know, 
ऑब्जेक्ट आर बींग इन्वोव और सम अदर थिंग आर इन्वोव दिस इज द रिस्पॉन्स फॉर अ क्लास सो वी से इट इन दाइज ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स सेट वी टेक द यूनियन ऑफ दिच विच इज इन गेटिंग मैसेज एंड वॉट आर इन्वोव सो आर एफ सी इज द नंबर ऑफ मेथड इन दिस रिस्पॉन्स सेट सो एज दिस आर एफ सी विल इंक्रीज द एफर्ट ऑफ टेस्टिंग ऑल्सो विल इंक्रीज बिकॉज द टेस्ट सीक्वेंस विल ग्रो because some input is coming here other will be other is in getting invoked or called so as the rfc will increase the overall design complexity of the class will also bound to be increased like r1 r4 r3 they will also get invoked lack of cohesion in methods lcon Now LCO measures the dissimilarity of method in a class by instance variables or attributes. There are different variants. Let me take an example of class. Now we want that cohesion should be there inside a class. Now each method in a class are bound to access one or more attributes. These are called instance variable. So when the method is making use or manipulating or accessing one or more attributes lcom is actually defined which is the number of methods that access one or more of the same attribute please understand number of method that are accessing one or more of the same attribute for example here variable abcd is given the method 1 is accessing a and c the method 2 is accessing b the method 3 is accessing a b and d this is i'm talking about number of method that access one or more of the same attribute lcon so normally we talk about cohesion but here we are talking about lack of cohesion if no method access the same attribute you are bound to have lcom value as zero no one is accessing the same one in order to illustrate to understand the case where lcom equals not equal zero you just consider six method four of the method access one or more attributes in common so what do we say we say lcom is equal to four the lack of cohesion in methods is four so this is how the lcom works if lcom is high the complexity of the class design is higher 